we're doing your love reading for the month of uh, December. I was going to say September. How random. So the month of September could be of significance. And uh, <laughs> for a second there, I... I wanted to do this, but I stopped myself. I'm like, whoa, what's going on here? When I st when I do a reading, sometimes, guys, a lot of my uh, movements are very much involuntary. The things that I say, or you know, the things that, that that I do, like with my hands, I don't, I don't really, I don't know that I'm that I'm doing them. And uh, I caught myself there at the beginning. I was about to go like that, and then I saw like a little gun in my in my head uh not like it it's not in like in a bad way but like i wanted to do pew, 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 pew. like i want to do that pew, 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 pew. <laughs> what is that <laughs> aquarius let's see i do feel like there's okay so now i'm hearing there's uh, uh there there's shots being fired okay there's shots being fired which here could be representative of like um somebody's behavior here towards you uh, they're they're saying they're doing they're saying something okay that is meant to um that that is meant to trigger you perhaps in some kind of way so and then right now i'm also hearing cheap shots okay uh pew, 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 pew. Uh, i'm hearing but nothing okay necessarily that you should take to heart or too seriously okay I mean, as well as neither should the other person. So I'm um, another thing that I'm getting here for those of you that I'm connecting with Aquarius is that there is an individual here. Now, this could certainly be you or it could be uh, your uh, um, your significant other. OK. They're a little um, I don't want to say they're a little insensitive, but they're certainly being perceived in that way. So you could be uh, your love interest. OK. Um, is perceiving you as someone that is a little insensitive, okay, with their words, with their behavior, um, and vice versa. I, I feel like um, you could be viewing someone in, in this way as well. And, you know, just as I'm saying that, look, we have this really big eye here, and it's actually the Five of Swords. That's what I'm getting, guys. I feel like for those of you that I'm connecting with, okay, there is a relationship, a connection, a situation here where there is two people. Okay, I do feel like there's tension. I don't feel like it's anything too serious, okay, but I do feel like it's a... Uh, problematic there's a certain level of immaturity here as well i'm hearing of having to grow up i'm hearing rise above okay but you know I, I do feel like um we find ourselves i'm hearing in circumstances here in a situation that i'm hearing if prolonged can, can really get ugly now, I do feel like there is like some spitefulness here, like there's someone that is holding on to some uh, resentment. They're holding on to something, okay, and it's making them like act, behave in, in, in this um, in this challenging way. And I do feel like purposely, okay, things are being done, okay. I'm hearing so that the other can see to 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 cause a disturbance aside from that i do feel like there is a a, a strong level yeah of of uh, of conflict here but i feel like it's very much rooted like in the past i feel like it's very much rooted in, in the past because right now i i i it, that energy okay here this five of swords energy feels like it's lingering so i feel like it's something that has been ongoing okay so what happens in the five of swords guys to me this five of swords is kind of like the hot potato have you ever heard that have do you know about the game hot potato where there at least has to be two people at the very least right that have um any given object option uh um object in their hands and um 
that that object there is the the hot potato so no one can keep that um wh whatever object okay is being passed around no one can keep it for too long so they're always having to pass it back and forth back and forth back and forth and usually there's some kind of music playing in the background or something like that and when the music turns off it's like whoever's left holding the hot potato is you know the person that loses or whatever that's that five of swords okay it's it's like a hot potato that goes back and forth back and forth until somebody turns the music off i don't feel like the music has been turned off entirely i feel like it has but then it's like let's play it let's 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 play it again you know it's like stop and it goes i'm, I'm hearing uh it goes silent <laughs> But then it starts again. So this is, this is I feel like, um, yeah, resentment. Okay, there's a sense of a grudge here as well <laughs> um, th that has been ongoing. Now, I feel like in the month of December, whatever's going to be taking place, circumstances perhaps could, um, or will arise, okay, with the, and with the Five of Swords, I feel like, those those situations okay are going to make it possible give this five of swords the opportunity i'm hearing to show its ugly face again which here would be representative let's just say like with the hot potato analogy would be representative of like whatever is going to be happening in um december is going to um make it possible for someone to press play on the music and I'm hearing and then this 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 fighting or you know this pettiness is it's going to go on but I but what I'm getting is that in the month of December it could it, it could go overboard guys because I do feel like there's a strong level of like annoyance here of like okay you know like enough like enough so if this is you holding on to this okay what you need to know, okay, is that it can go very wrong in the month of December to the point where I feel like uh, it could really ruin connections, relationships to a point that um, is, <sighs> okay, and then right now I heard unforgivable. And if this is um, if this is not you and this is someone that you're dealing with, okay, I feel like not, you know, participating in that okay not participating in, in in that energy there okay because um i feel like you will regret it and so will the other person so that's like what we have going on here these are the present circumstances my dear i'm seeing like a snow cone there might be like a snow cone place for a very selective few i mean that might be of significance and just as i said snow cone look we have all these cups and well you put snow cones in cups this nine of cups the nine of cups guys is um there is something here that is very much being desired okay let me get one more card there is something very much here that is uh being felt that is being desired okay what is this nine of cups and then here we have the tower the tower scorpio of significance all right guys so what i'm getting here with this five of swords and this nine of cups is that um i feel like the feminine energy is very much being emphasized here uh, they are a focal point the feminine energy um i feel like she okay i'm going to say she okay um but i'm talking about the feminine here there is masculines uh, out there, uh, or should I say males that uh, could identify with the feminine energy. Anyways, I just want to make that clear. Um, Nine of Cups, guys. I feel like the feminine energy um, is has uh, her eyes set, okay, on something, which um, I mean does not correspond, okay with the vision that another has so again here pretty much i see um so so here with the nine of cups in the tower guys we're we're beginning to see this energy that i was talking about here we're starting to see it evolve and expand and see more of the picture here so if you could think about it think about like um a, an image a picture that you're looking at and 
with this uh, five of swords we were zoomed in and we were just looking at like a corner but now we zoomed out and we're able to see more of the bigger picture of what's going on here so now what i'm seeing with this nine of cups is that um the feminine energy here i feel like um her attention okay her focus here i feel like it's on i'm hearing it's on the future not only on the future but i feel like her emotional state i feel like it has very much improved in the month of december i feel like it's going to be um she's going to be vibrating very high and the reason for that is guys is because i feel like the feminine energy has been able to uh walk away from a lot of conflict a lot of things that did not serve them um a, walk away from past energy okay and i feel like the feminine energy finds herself moving towards even better things and i say even better things because at the present moment with the nine of cups things are splendid they're looking very well so what i'm getting is that past decisions here that have been made whatever path the feminine finds herself in in the month of december i feel like it's really going to be giving back and the feminine is going to feel very positive okay about those choices and the decisions uh, that they have made that have made the present moment possible which again is quite positive for her with the nine of cups i feel like goals dreams and aspirations as well are a very big focal point for her which just means right the feminine energy here guys is not in a conflictive energy at all in fact i feel like if we could think about it like this it looks like she's looking away from this five of swords right like eh, like i'm not even looking at that so again here guys we have a person that is still entertaining lower energies okay they're still holding on to a grudge uh they're still holding on to the past perhaps in some kind of way they're holding on to anger resentment um to some troublesome feelings they have not been able to let something go they have not been able to rise above and get themselves out of that conflicting energy i feel like the feminine okay this one whoever this is applied to your situation has done that i feel like that in itself uh, makes this individual more upset I feel, it's a trigger in fact i feel like it, it definitely uh tr it, it triggers um let's say the masculine energy here here we have another eye do you see that at the very top so, so you know there's this level of um of rage with the tower there is this rage as well as this uh disruptiveness okay this uh, this jealousy even guys this this uh disturbance at someone's core okay at the fact or of seeing okay another doing well really wow okay that is what i have here and i do feel like the masculine energy seeing the feminine in um this this um in this wonderful energy okay which again the energy guys is just being uh being um willing and able and ready okay and having done this already having left okay any sort of conflict behind and right now i'm getting and that is the problem because to this person very unconsciously okay so this is like the type of person that just kind of reacts okay this one here being represented by the five of swords that's very much triggered okay so this is a person that is very much unconscious and unaware right of their emotions of their thoughts meaning they don't they their thoughts and their emotions are feeling thinking all kinds of things but they're not um aware of those things which then you know makes them act in ways that they don't make that makes them act okay in, impulsively so that's what i'm getting okay five of swords and then this tower and i feel like the the masculine energies um actually wanting to disrupt things they're wanting to come in and disrupt things guys with the tower there's a certain level of rage of jealousy you see that red eye there i mean it's 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 uh 
it's quite toxic here what it is that they're seeing okay um, which is not toxic at all you know it, it's not this nine of cups is not toxic so I also see a uh, feminine energy here in in um, embracing okay perhaps I'm hearing her sexuality her body okay do that's like because the nine of cups guys is representative of like it is it is pleasure is indulgence which you know we can associate with like feeling the body right so yeah i see like the feminine energy embracing her femininity even her sexuality here with this nine of cups and just being comfortable in her skin because look this dress doesn't it look like a it looks like a towel that's just wrapped around her right so to me it there's a level of comfort there of of of, of tranquility of, of uh, yes yeah, serenity tranquility and, and acceptance okay and comfortableness in, in oneself and in one's skin I'm um, getting that with the nine of cups and this woman is not even smiling you know this woman is not even smiling but again it's just her surroundings okay I mean simply the way that she looks she doesn't I mean have to be putting it out there okay uh, making it obvious I'm hearing with a smile that they're happy not even with a smile right but by sharing anything okay but it's very much evident okay and again there is absolutely nothing negative at all about this nine of cups but it's being perceived as negative by someone who again I'm seeing as the masculine energy here that is being triggered that is being triggered by this strong sense of jealousy here and this i'm hearing this um unconscious perhaps uh motive or desire to come and disrupt that wanting to having the inclination at the very least to do that that is pretty much the situation that we have here let's put that back in now let's take a look at your position okay my dear aquarius what is your position in all of this aquarius and then we're going to take a look at um, your significant other's position. Okay, that wants to come out. The Queen of Wands. Guys, doesn't that look, my goodness, look, Ten of Swords. Guys, that's someone who is like, they just, they just, they want to, they want to do a number on you. Goodness gracious. There's this anger, guys, there. There's, there's, wow. Okay, so let, let me. Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Do you see this woman? This is fire energy, feminine energy very much coming through, which goes very well with the message that I have been um, sharing with you guys, okay? The uh, Queen of Wands, it's a very feminine energy, right? But it's very much in control. It's, it's confident, it's very much comfortable, and uh, you could say it's their own skin, this Queen of Wands. And... The Queen of Wands as well attracts a lot of attention. Not, not even trying to. Okay, it's just it's, it's very charismatic. Okay, so I feel like this is the feminine energy coming through and being perceived in this way by the masculine energy as well as everybody else around her. Okay, very much being admired, being loved, um, people wanting to be around her, being seen, uh, being put on a pedestal as well. A uh, uh, presence here of importance, okay? Very much standing out. Very much in, 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 in their power, I'm hearing. Very motivated as well, very driven and in control. Uh, that's like an energy here that, that I'm getting with the feminine energy. That, guys, I feel like um, it's a beautiful thing. <clears throat> but but I, I do feel like it is um, making making others okay jealous. And then here we have all of this. So the feminine energy as well, I feel like is exuding this very passionate in nature, this vibe here, okay? Which which is it is um, like highly um, it's like um, sexually charged but not in 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 a bad way or you know it's 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 not like all in your face i feel like it's very um it's very classy okay I, yeah i do I, I feel like it's it's very classy and as well it's very subtle okay 
Now with this Ten of Swords being here, I feel like, again guys, look at that. I mean, the Ten of Swords is like, um, this is like, you know, when they say like, stick the knife and then twist it. So they, you know, imagine that sticking an, a sword into somebody, a knife, and then it's like, that's not enough. You just don't pull it out. It's like you stick it and then you twist it. So there's this, um, there is this malice here uh, a little bit, guys, of wanting to knock down the feminine energy. Now, for many of you, again, I'm seeing this as the masculine energy, or it could be any other energy here that is of significance in your love life, okay? There is a desire, again, an inclination here to come here and bring you down, bring the feminine down. And, and well, this this is you. This is you, uh, Aquarius. This is your position. So let's just. Uh, I'm going to read this as you being the the feminine energy here. We have the ten of pentacles. The ten of pentacles, guys, is security, is stability. Okay, I feel like um, for you, my dear Aquarius, you've managed to put yourself in um, a very good position. You, you've managed to create a, a very secure and a, a, and a very desirable, you know, environment, okay, around you. I feel like that is very much standing now. You're being seen, okay, as someone that has a whole lot to offer. Someone certainly that knows what it is that they want, who have accomplished, okay, a whole lot with the Ten of Pentacles. Again, this is the way the feminine energy is being seen. I feel like they're very accomplished this time around, okay? very very accomplished okay that is very much seen that is very well known and there is a certain level of uh, happiness okay of joy as well that has been reached by the feminine energy which just means right when you get to this kind of uh, this this ten of pentacles here i feel like uh, a lot of the worries okay that you once had the feminine energy had they're no they're no longer of significance so a lot okay the condition okay of the feminine's life okay the quality of their life has improved drastically and that's certainly something to be happy joyous about okay and again i feel like it's definitely something that is known and that is seen but it's making people upset okay this is a love reading i feel like you're doing a whole lot as well there's no stopping you do you see this queen of wands she has multiple hands there i mean so you have your hands okay in several you know several jars several things here that is upsetting to some people Okay, so that is that's pretty much your your where it is that you stand, my dear um, Aquarius. For those of you with families, okay, with relationships, I feel like um, family, okay, long term relationships as well are healthy. Find themselves in a um, very secure and safe place. I feel like there's a lot of love here. I'm hearing that you have, okay, for yourself. I'm hearing that's beginning to, to fill this cup within you that's beginning to fill. And I'm hearing and now that is filling up, you're able to give, okay? And I feel like that in itself, which is just reaching a place of happiness, guys, is disturbing to somebody. Ten of Swords. With that being said, okay, I feel like there's a lot that you've overcome, okay, with this Ten of Swords. I feel like um, you've been through some things and you've managed to work through all of that, overcome that. I feel like that was incredibly exhausting. I mean, but you've healed from that. Here with this Ace of Cups, beautiful energy. That is your position. Now let's take a look at your significant other. There could be a Cancer of Significance. I saw the, the Chariot. Let's see. Aquarius. What about your significant other? What is their position? Aquarius, Aquarius. All right, let's see. We have the Prince of Swords. 
and then here we have the eight of swords so you know here and then here we have the eight of cups and then we have the two of cups and then we have the hair font and then we have death and then we have the temperance all right guys so for those of you that i'm connecting with guys i feel like this could certainly be like an x okay i feel like this is an x again that is still it has not overcame i'm hearing the the breakup the loss here you know they're still holding on okay they're still holding on With the Prince of Swords, I feel like this person is spying on you, okay? I feel like they're inquisitive, very curious here, and I do feel like there is this uh, level of, like, what are they doing, you know? Um, you might have uh, even received some sort of communication from this person, I'm hearing, directly or indirectly. That's what I'm hearing. And then here with this Eight of Swords, um, look at this. That is a feminine right there, right? And it's it reminds me of a shadow, right? I feel like this person is having a hard time. This is another thing that I'm getting for you, Aquarius. I'm speaking to the feminine energy here. Um, this ex, let's just say this individual here, is having a hard time seeing you overcome some shadows. I feel like they're wanting to keep you in like this darkness, in this uh, misery, or I feel like you're doing a lot better than you were in the past. I feel like that is very much evident. I feel like you have uplifted, okay, yourself. And um, I feel like this individual here um, knows about this, okay, knows about all the progress, knows ab about how it is that you've managed to put yourself in, in, in this present um, fabulous position here, okay? That is very much known and seen. And I feel like this person, okay, doesn't like this is being triggered by this because it's reflecting back something to them okay and um i do feel like there is this um this this uh, this anger right this this anger here that they're directing at you here is actually a projection of themselves and the anger that they feel for themselves for having um I'm hearing for um, having treated you the way that they did. So I feel like there's heavy projections going on here, right? Because like I said, there's a lot of really good things happening here with you. And I feel like this person doesn't like seeing that, okay? Because, and, and they feel this anger because they're, they're, they're angry at themselves but their ego doesn't allow them to recognize that yet and accept that, hey, you did a mistake. There's some mis mistakes here, as well as, you know, having to acknowledge that you have, I'm hearing, progress and do done well. That is difficult, okay? With the Eight of Swords, I feel like um, this person, okay, this individual here made things difficult for you. I feel like they uh, blocked you. Uh, I do feel like they blocked you. I do feel like they made things difficult. I feel like they confused you as well. I'm hearing a lot. What is it? Smoking mirrors here. And um, with the Eight of Cups, um, I feel like this person walked away from you first, but you know, I mean, it, it seemed as though that happened because obviously here we see they're still holding on. It's an illusion. I'm hearing it's an illusion, okay, that this person walked away. Because here they have not walked away. They're still holding on, okay? And in fact, I feel like they're angry at the fact that you're moving on, that have moved on and um, have done remarkably well in the process. So I feel like this person walked away from you. So I do feel like they regret that, okay? And again, it's this anger that they're feeling that they're projecting at you, that they're feeling towards you is actually, you know, anger, okay, resentment here that they feel for for themselves for having done whatever it is that they have they did, especially with that five of swords there. Which is just representative of foul behavior just it's just foul now again i feel like this person okay walked away okay first 
I'm hearing physically it appeared, okay? I'm hearing, but that was all smoking mirrors, okay? You actually did walk away. I'm hearing without without having to walk without having to walk away. You walked away without having to walk away. I hope that makes sense, okay? And I feel like for those of you that I'm connecting with, you are could be in a committed relationship or you're dating, you're with someone new. Or at the very least, I feel like you're very much prepared. I'm hearing prepped and in the energy to get into, uh, I'm hearing to accept love, to give love and be in a serious committed relationship. So either again, you're in one already, you met someone or you're like prepared, you're moving towards that and this person feels that. <clears throat> and this person is having to let go. This person is having to let go. There's a could be a Taurus here. There could be um, a Scorpio of significance. With this uh, death card, do you see how the feminine energy is being emphasized there? So I feel like, again, the feminine energy, guys, uh, has really gone through a drastic transformation. There's a drastic, okay, transformation that is undeniable, that is very evident here in the in the feminine's life, okay? And it's it's quite the positive one. And I feel like someone here is is um, the masculine energy here is 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 feeling um, mad at themselves for um, is feeling mad at themselves, let's just say that. That is um, where this other person stands, guys. They're not okay with the changes that you have made, which again, irrelevant, right? Irrelevant, I mean, it's, it's they're good. You've made great, uh, Great changes, strides here, feminine energy. And this, this person pretty much, they want to keep you in your shadow. If there's this almost this like a uh, level, there's this, um, what is it? Um, there's a level of denial here of like, there's uh, this, this is also something that I'm picking up here, guys, is like, This is like the type of person, okay, that will not acknowledge, that will not acknowledge your progress. That will say, oh, they're still the same. Oh, nothing has changed about them. Yeah, like, no, they're still the same. Like, they're just, they're pretending like, they're pretending to be this, they're pretending to be happy. Like, no. This is a person that's in denial as well, again, that will not uh, acknowledge, okay, your achievements, for example, and that is um, an immature way that they, you know, one, deal with their emotions, but as well as, you know, um, a way that they try to maintain control by denying, not acknowledging. I'm hearing, but you don't even need, I'm hearing the validation or the acknowledgement of anyone. Okay, so what can you expect in moving uh, in moving forward? Let's see. In moving forward, um, your know, future developments could be towards like the end of December or just overall. Okay, for those that, of you that I connect with this month, it's going to be like could be end of December, but as well as further than that. It's just how this is going to be developing, specifically for you and your love life. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. I kind of I burp there a little bit, guys, and it's it's this this energy here. It's like it's like I it's like my body was like get it out, like you know. It's the seven of swords, and look here we have a gentleman that is crossing their fingers. Seven of swords, and in fact here we have um what what is it foxes? Okay, and foxes are sneaky guys, and again. You, You've seen the projection uh, um, of how this has been uh, de developing, guys. I feel like this is an individual that you should be very careful with because at the beginning, what did I say? I'm like, this is an individual that um, 
wants to come and disturb, disrupt you, okay? So for those of you that I'm connecting with, um, I feel like you should be very careful uh, about who it is that you give your time and energy to, who it is that you allow, who it is that you trust. Um, let's just say in the month of December, you should not trust anybody, okay? Because I feel like uh, you're going to be doing very well and um, you, you're, you're having to protect that energy, okay? Because there's others here who are wanting to bring you down. Seven of Swords. The Seven of Swords as well is having to maneuver, avoid certain people, certain things, okay? So knowing that in the month of December, you're going to have to uh, do that. And we have the Ace of Cups and we have the Two of Wands. All right, so um, guys, I feel like this, there's a, a masculine energy here, okay, that is wanting to come back, okay? But they're wanting to come back just so that they could bring you down, okay? They're, they're coming back just to bring you down. With the Ace of Cups, I feel like they're seeing you as someone who has a whole lot to give. This is a spiritually, okay, a person that is very much depleted, unfortunately, okay? That finds themselves in a very negative uh, space and they're seeing you as someone who is very uh, abundant, very, um, that has a whole lot to give, very uh, rich uh, spiritually, emotionally, okay? Here with this Ace of Cups. And I'm hearing, and they're wanting to come in and, and, and drink from your cup. I'm hearing, but notice that they're not bringing any cup with them, okay? Look, I'm hearing they're, they're bringing all kinds of tricks and lies here. Look, two of swords, deception. I'm hearing motives and tensions are not going to be clear, are going to be hidden. So again, this is a person that you're having to watch out for and, and stay away from. Feminine energy, ace of cups. And here with this uh, two of wands, let's see what this is. I'm seeing this two of wands as like a point in time here in the future for you, my dear uh, Aquarius, where you're going to make a, a decision here. There's a decision here that is going to be made. What is this? This is the devil. So, so do you see that, that energy? I'm hearing the choice that you have to make, my dear Aquarius, like the choice, okay, the choice here that you're having to make. I'm here, I'm here to stay hydrated and stay replenished because that's that's the um, that's the temperance. And what I mean by that, guys, is by protecting okay your energy and staying in the present energy that you have, which is uh, very positive. Okay, guys, it's very it's very good. You're able to manifest and do a whole lot. Okay, with this energy, it's very healing. Protecting okay this energy. Sagittarius of significance, two of wands. I feel like what this is saying is the decision here that you have to make is, um, I'm hearing one, to continue healing. And again, I keep hearing, and to stay, stay hydrated here. Which, which just means to stay, you know, emotionally balanced, okay? Do not allow others to deplete you. There is a masculine energy here that will do that, okay? Staying away from them and knowing that they find themselves in a very dark place here. And they're wanting to bring you back to that place because they're feeling lonely. Why are they feeling lonely? Because you've left this dark place. And now they're alone in their dark place and they're having to get themselves out. But instead of getting themselves out, they're wanting to bring you back into it. That is, um, you know, how this is going to be developing, guys. So knowing that there is an individual here, guys, that you cannot trust, okay? Having to continue, I'm hearing to focus on yourself, okay? This month of December. And, I'm, and, and to hold on tight, I'm hearing to the love that it is that you have to give. This person will deplete you, okay? But I feel like you find yourself, you know, in a place mentally, emotionally, just overall, you know, I feel like feminine energy, you find yourself in in a place where the advice that I'm giving you is just like second nature, right? It's like, well, I already know that's what I have to do. 
So let's see, let's get a oracle card for you. My dear Aquarius, if you want to book a reading with me, guys, you can do so by going to the link down below in the description box. It's going to take you to votrevoyagetarot.com where you could book a private reading with me. If you have an Instagram, please do follow me on there. Um, you could find me at votrevoyagetarot on Instagram, guys. All right, that's it. <laughs> This is the, out of the box here. As you can see, guys, I'm not at home. I am out of town. And I don't have, usually I, I and the, there's a slide that comes out um, at the beginning and at the end of my videos that tells you what it is that I'm wearing and the deck that I'm using. I don't have that software right now because I'm not at home. So I'm having to show you guys here. Uh, this is the Oracle deck that I'm about to use. It's called Crystal Angels Oracle Cards. All right, let's see. Here we go, Aquarius. It says, call sight. So, you know, look at that. To me, that's just like this radiant positive energy, right? It reminds me of the sun as well, okay? It reminds me of the Queen of Wands, okay? That Queen of Wands that we saw, which, you know, is representative of like, is representative of confidence, guys. This reminds me of the sun. It reminds me of the solar plexus, which is, it's, um, it's, it's very positive. Let's see what this says. It says busy times and multitasking. <laughs> Didn't we? I was just talking about this queen of uh, wands. Remember, we saw her with like several hands. And in fact, I believe earlier I said something like the feminine energy has her hands in several jars here. She's doing several things. So busy times and multitasking, take charge of your schedule during this busy time and honestly assess your underlying reasons for being busy. Wow, busy times and multitasking. So yeah, the feminine energy here is, is, is doing a, okay a whole lot and I feel like that is a, a good thing. But I feel here perhaps there could be, you know, um, there could be, I feel like staying busy, okay, for uh, some of you, you're staying busy simply uh, because you're, you're, you're trying, not simply, right, but one of the reasons why you're um, so busy is because you're avoiding something dealing dealing with with something now i don't really necessarily feel like this is a major factor in fact i feel like it's something it's not anything major so i guess like what this is saying is you know don't forget about the important things okay um it's good okay to stay busy to be productive and all those things that's great that's awesome continue doing that but also make time for yourself I mean, even if it's just 15 minutes throughout the day, just simply to process your emotions, simply just to feel and reflect 15 minutes, I feel like that could really make a difference. Busy times and multitasking. Take charge of your schedule during this busy time and honestly assess your underlying reasons for being busy. This is what I have for you, Aquarius. Thank you so much for allowing me to do this reading for you. As always, truly, it was my honor and my pleasure. You guys take care, okay? Bye-bye.